absolutely. And we've been watching here with the Ferris wheels going, we got the rides <laughs> going. But you'll notice too, the flag is blowing a lot. Full swing, yeah. So the flag is, we've got some breezy winds. It's funny to see those clouds are still trying to hang around though. They are, but they're yeah. thinning out pretty quickly. When I even refreshed the camera from about an hour ago, we saw a huge difference. Good. So seeing good things happening outside at the fair right now. It's looking pretty good as we are headed outside today. It's a good day for fair weather. Temperatures in the mid 60s for today and tomorrow. As we head into the middle to late part of the week, we'll see temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 70s. And if you like those warmer temperatures for fair weather, I would go mid to late week because by the time we head towards the weekend, we get those cooler temperatures back. Sunshine in mid 70s will be with us for a few days though. Overall, things are looking really nice. Here's our 12 hour forecast. Today we do have winds in the 10 to 25 mile per hour range. So a breezy afternoon in the trial Add cool as we head into the overnight hours and we are waking up to temperatures in the 40s for your Tuesday morning. The foothills temperatures in the mid 60s winds 5 to 10 miles per hour and again that cool down as we head into the overnight and early morning hours. Here's a look at the mountains 5 to 10 miles per hour for your winds today. Temperatures getting into the upper 50s as we head into the overnight hours though getting into the 30s. So we're definitely getting a taste of fall early in October. Now this is a little fast to be seeing temperatures this cool. Our average for today is mid 70s, so we've been 10 to 15 degrees below normal for the past couple of days, including yesterday where we hit 62 degrees and then didn't climb any further than that. And over the next couple of days, we'll get back to normal and then we'll start to cool down once more. Here's a look at that warm up though as we head into the next few days, getting into the mid to low 70s, close to where we should be as we head into the next few days will also be dry. So that's good for fair weather. No matter what your temperature preference, we've got it this week and we don't have to deal with rain for the next couple of days. So even though they had a kind of a rocky start with rain, things are looking a lot better. Our rainfall for the month is above normal, of course, because we got so much rain ending September, heading into October. Ian brought us some good rain even in the first days of October. We're above normal on the year by about three inches, so it will be a couple of days before we start to see things be below normal as we head into this week so we can enjoy the dry, crisp fall weather for a few days before it starts to be an issue. We also have a couple things we're watching in the tropics that we're watching but aren't necessarily an issue. Tropical wave east of the Windward Islands at this point. We could see a tropical depression form in the next few days, moving generally westward at 15 to 20 miles per hour. 40% chance of seeing that develop in the next five days, even likely that it'll happen in the next two. And this one here too, we've been watching this for a couple days now and we're starting to see that time frame become closer where it could become a tropical depression. It's moving generally westward but then expected to turn northwestward. So impacts with this one to the continental United States are not looking likely at this point. But of course, anytime we've got any kind of system during tropical weather season, we're watching it very closely for you. So we'll let you know if you have anything to be concerned about as we head through the next week or so. Temperatures though, getting into those mid 70s, feeling normal for us for this time of year and then dropping right back down for the week.